Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your October 2023 astrology in Tarot uh, with a little astrology from Melissa at Island Girl Tarot. You can reach me at islandgirl2008 at gmail.com or islandgirlorkeen.com slash islandgirl. Both of those girls has two L's on them. <clears throat> well, this week, Taurus, I'm looking at uh, two or three things astrologically that are happening. Uh, one is Pluto is going to station to go uh, direct around the 10th or the 11th of October, depending on where in the world you are. And for you all, that's going to be happening right at the top of, you know, your chart, depending on uh, for you early born ones in that will be in the ninth house headed into your 10th house once it gets into Aquarius. So it's the end of your ninth house, which has probably seen you change a lot of things that you think and feel over the last 14 years. Uh, we're also going to look at the eclipses. The first eclipse I want to look at is the one on the 14th. And that's the new moon eclipse, and it's going to be in your sixth house of pets, day-to-day uh, -day work activity, uh, your health, and uh, um, with the new moon there, and then the and then the node, south node there with Mercury, at 17 degrees, the sun and the moon at 21, the north node at or the south node at 24 degrees, and then across the way in your 12th house is the north node with Eris, who is the goddess of destruction and chaos and war and yeah she's mars's sister so we'll see what she has to do and then chiron is opposite that mercury there too so i just feel like there's some sort of message coming in hopefully it's a healing message we'll see um but we'll see how it affects you guys let's see what the cards have to say i mean to me that could be news about a pet it could be news about a co-worker uh you know leaving um you know a co-worker could be retiring something to that effect so let's see what the cards have to say for our taurus friends for october well it looks like it's work related that's for sure and um You know, this looks to me like uh, one of your co-workers with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups uh, has decided to move on. And he's going to leave, he or she is going to leave with the Ten of Swords here. And they're going to go do their own thing with the Three of Wands. They want to go work for themselves. They've been thinking about this for some time with the... Uh, temper uh hanged man and then the temperance card is the last card out and they that shows that they've got the wherewithal to do this to make to make a go of it the uh emperor's out this is definitely somebody that wants to work for themselves maybe even take two or three employees with them they're going to do a lot of this work over the uh internet with the uh with the star card there um and, you know, there could be some recognition, a YouTube channel, something to that effect. Um, if this were to be health related, because it is the area of health, I would say that it looks to me like if you've had an undiagnosed illness or something that you didn't know what was going on with you, you're finally going to get some answers and some relief with this three of uh, cups. Your answer is going to be the emperor. He'll be the doctor or the holistic practitioner, whomever you decide to go to. Um, but you've decided to end the uh, limbo and not doing anything. You put an end to that. So you're going to absolutely take steps to make sure that you feel better. So you'll have to give me some idea, uh, Taurus, how this is playing out for you all um, and how, how, how you're feeling and um, what's going on, you know, in the workaday world. If you've got, like I said, this could be somebody leaving. It could be uh, the death of a pet, which, gosh, I'm telling you, sometimes they're worse than the death of some people. You know, they really are. It's just, it'll crush you like a, hmm. But, um if that's the case, you know, I'm so sorry, but just know that your animal had the best life you could give it. And 
they're here with us for the specific amount of time for that period of time in our life that we need them. So um, let's move on to the uh, 28th where we've got the full moon eclipse. And it's kind of a weird one because the nodes are in Aries and Libra, but the sun and the moon are in Scorpio and Taurus. And this Taurus is going to be your last eclipse. You've made it through. This is the last eclipse period. It should be maybe six weeks to six months, depending on how your planets are uh, close to this eclipse uh, and what placements you have on how, you know, the full brunt effect of it. But of course, it's in your first and seventh house. Um, and the sun, the sun's in the seventh, the moon's in the first. And that's always, that's our relationship axis. That's our I, we axis. So it's definitely going to be something with a full moon. It's not a lot of times it's endings. It's shining a light on something. You know, eclipses eclipse people into and out of our lives. Um, so it'll be, it'll be real interesting. The nodes are still widely squaring Pluto during this time too. So we'll have to see how it works relationship wise. These are, you know, this tends to be the, uh, important deep legally binding relationships uh in that seventh house so you'll you know this whatever happens here will be of importance um it's possible that a new venture is coming in you know um we'll just have to see let's see what's happening with taurus for the 28th eclipse full moon Um, you know, that's why I, I felt like that it may not be all bad. I, you know, that this is not a negative necessarily at all, uh, for you guys, that this is, <clears throat> yeah, this is going to actually be a very positive eclipse for you all monetarily. You're all over the reading. Here's the uh, King of Pentacles, uh, and that's you, Taurus. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is out. The Nine of Pentacles is out. This is money, 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 money. Um, security, what you value, the people you value, your possessions that you value. And that's going to be this, you know, it could be a situation where you're going to gift something to somebody uh, and let them have it. You know, it could be somebody you know that you were thinking about leaving in something in your will and rather than waiting you want to go ahead and give it to them now i just i don't know for some reason i'm seeing gifting here for some reason um whatever it is if you are uh about to get married or to do something like that you're going to be setting up um some sort of financial foundation for everybody that is going to make everybody feel better uh, moving into with the six of swords, moving into a, uh, a much easier time with the page of cups. You know, this could be a child uh, that you're dealing with that you're having to set up financial foundation for, or are able to set up a foundation for in some way. Um, <clears throat> It's also possible with the world and the Eight of Cups out that this is traveling, that uh, you or your spouse might be traveling and there may be a little bit of a separation there um, with the Eight of Cups and the world out. So you'll have to you'll have to let me know again. This is that I we axis that, you know, what you want versus what they want and how can we make everybody happy together. <laughs> Uh, so you'll have to fill me in, Taurus, and let me know how this is uh, playing out for you all and manifesting. Um, you can reach me at islandgirl2008 at gmail.com, keen.com slash islandgirl. If you'd like to book a reading, uh, the gmail.com is uh, discounted from the, from the Keen application. So uh, by all means, try and catch me if you can. Leave a, uh, an email and I'll get back with you. And by all means, like, share, and subscribe. I'm working on that YouTube algorithm like everybody else. So I appreciate your help. Take care, Taurus. Have a great month. And I'll be putting out the weeklies here in the next day or two. And then I'm going to do a 55 and older 
um, reading for everybody. And if it doesn't apply to you, then, you know, your parents or grandparents or whatever, you find out what's going on with your those crazy folks in your life. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.